USA Today, this is from July 16th, across the U.S. towns warn of toxic, toxic PFAS chemicals in drinking water. Huh, I saw this and I was like, what's going on here? The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, they believe me, they've got their own problems, but this was interesting, in June issued nationwide health advisories for four PFAS chemicals commonly found in drinking water. These chemicals are short for per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, okay? These are your forever chemicals. You ever hear that term? Maybe you haven't. They're called forever chemicals because they take a really long time to break down, and they're present in a lot of products. So basically, these forever chemicals, it's PFOA and PFOS, were found in drinking water in many places. And the thing about them is that very small quantities can be very toxic to people. So this came out. Now, where else you might be thinking, okay, drinking water. And, and it showed up in a number of states. It showed up in Mobile, Alabama. It showed up in a Chicago Tribune investigation that found that there, were P, there was PFAS in water utilities across the state. Private testing in North Carolina found PFOA and PFOS in the water sources. So this is happening in multiple places. This isn't just one little area of the country. Where else do these chemicals show up? Well, a lot of places, actually. They show up in nonstick coatings. You guys have pans in your kitchen that have nonstick? That's your forever chemicals. They show up, not all of them, but a lot of them. They show up in waterproofing. You have clothing that says waterproof? That's your PFOA, PFOS. You have uh, PFAS. Kitchenware, clothing, furniture, food packaging is a big one. Have you seen the trend recently of shifting to glass bottles? Everything's in glass now. You go to the grocery store, you see like my baby's applesauce. Oh, it's in glass. There's a reason because a lot of these chemicals, these forever chemicals are in plastics and they leach into products. So this is something that caught my eye. And my takeaway from this, I'm very attuned to all this stuff. I don't know if you, I'm going to cover this in detail, but my house is kind of like my temple, right? So I'm very attuned to this because I'm very sensitive to all of this stuff. And I look for this stuff in my products. And you can find other sources. You can find furniture. You can find wood. You can find containers. You can find a lot of stuff that doesn't have these chemicals in it. We're going to get to why this is so important because in isolation, people say, well, that can't just be a cause of illness. My advice from this article, filter your, if I had to give you one bit of advice right now, I would say filter your water that you drink. Filter your water that you drink. Get a filter on there. It's not only forever chemicals that come through water, by the way. You got fluoride. You got a bunch of crap. Don't get me started on fluoride. We will, but we're going to do that with Dr. Jerry Caratolo, who's coming on here just a few weeks. He's going to talk about fluoride. Why? It's a problem. Anyway, I read this article. I'm like, huh, that's not good. Then I see this from January 2022. You guys remember this one. This was big. Women out there in particular. Investigation finds evidence of PFAS in workout and yoga pants. Okay? And it was a lot of brands that you know. Old Navy, LuLaRoe, Lululemon, Athleta Girl. They were all companies, and what they found is one in four pairs of popular leggings and yoga pants tested have detectable levels of fluorine. Fluorine is an indicator of PFAS. So this was a report from Momovation. Now, they say it's unclear what exposure to this through clothing means to humans. However, lab tests found that skin exposure poses similar health risks as ingesting the chemicals via food or water. Okay, your skin is your biggest organ of your body. We don't think of it that way. This is an organ. It absorbs everything. Everything you put onto your skin, everything you have. That's why they always say when you buy clothes, wash them first. Because if they're treated with these chemicals, you go down, you have a good sweat, you're heated up, you absorb that stuff. This was very concerning to women. Now, what I love about this article is that it offered alternatives. And it said, hey, you can find workout gear that doesn't have this stuff in it. And it gave some names. It happens to be names of stuff that I use, packed, a um, whole, whole bunch of, you can check the article out. This article is and from Environmental Health News. So I remembered that, and I said, huh, forever chemicals are creeping in everywhere. Then um, I read an article about forever chemicals I want to share a little bit with you. And I also saw, did you guys see that weed-killing chemical that's found in U.S. urine samples? We're going to get to that in a second. So I was looking at all this stuff, and I was like, I just want to put this together for the audience so they understand we're a chronically sick population. There's stuff you can do, you can do to make that better for yourself. Washington Post talks about the dangers of PFAS. It gets into it. And what it talks about is paper bags for French fries. Think about all the things you use. This isn't stuff that's like, oh, I don't use any of that stuff. Paper bags for French fries, wrappers for hamburgers, molded fiber salad bowls. You know when you go and get takeout, those salad bowls? Single-use paper plates oftentimes have PFAS, okay? Not all of them, though. Don't feel defeated. Don't feel like, well, what am I supposed to 
There are so many options that don't, but you have to care enough to look and you have to know enough to look. Then it gets into food packaging. In Maine, wastewater sludge from mills where such products are produced has reportedly been used to fertilize fields where cattle graze. Okay, so now it's getting into the field. It's getting into, is it getting into the food that the cows eat? Is it getting into the cows? Are you, all of this stuff creates a very toxic environment. If you like the short clip, you can catch another one here or you can catch the full episode right here.